Hello everyone, this is Howard, music supervisor here at Ava. Today I'm very excited to finally share with you all this new tool that we've been developing here at Ava for a very long time called the Accompaniment Designer. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Accompaniment Designer to create your own accompaniment packs for your AI-generated compositions. To start using the Accompaniment Designer, open a generation profile, in this case that will be the EDM2, and go to the layer of your choice. In this case, I picked the chords layer. One of the core parts of defining a generation profile consists of populating each layer with accompaniment packs. As you can see here, chords layer, extra layer, and bass layer are populated with accompaniment packs. In short, accompaniment packs define the types of musical ideas that a generation profile should use when generating a composition. And before this update, you can only select a pack by clicking the layer's context menu here, the three dot icon on the top right corner and clicking select the pack and browsing from a predefined list of accompaniment packs. Well, this is a very, very powerful customization tool that offers a diverse and extensive selection of musical ideas. You will still be limited by the types of packs offered by our selection. With this new version of Ava, however, you're now able to create and edit your own accompaniment packs. Let me demonstrate how we do that, right? And before we do that, let's go back a couple of steps. Let me close this window here and go back to the layer of your choice. So to create a pack, click on the layers context menu again. So this will be the uh, three dot icon on the right top right corner and click select pack. And on the top right corner of this new window, you're gonna see this button called create pack. And after you click on it, you will be redirected to the accompaniment designer. And if you go back to your generation profile, you're gonna see your new pack available for use in the layer of your choice. And let's say you want to edit an existing pack. In this case, there will be the Pulsey Steps 2. So to edit that, click on the gear icon on the top right corner of the selected pack, and then click Edit. And you will be redirected to the accompaniment designer. And you're also gonna see the pattern exactly the same as the one you see in the pack preview. So now let's go over the accompaniment designer's user interface. And first let's look at the resolution. It basically just changes the resolution of each grid, right? So if you wanna, if you wanna create a more uh, rhythmically complicated uh, pattern, then you can set the resolution to something like a 16 note. So there's more room for uh, rhythmic variation. And on the right, there is the number of bars, which as its name suggests, it sets the length of the pattern to the value of your choice. It can be one bar, two bars, or four bars. All right, now let's get to the fun part, how to actually edit this pattern. So if you go to the uh, top left corner where it says input mode, you're gonna see the pencil tool available. So if you just press this or press Command E if you're on a Mac or uh, Control E if you're on a PC, you can actually start drawing notes on the accompaniment designer. And you can even drag it to your desired duration. And if you wanna switch back to the pointer mode, you can just press this button or again, use Command E or Control E depending on what kind of device you use. And I'm just gonna edit my pattern this way. So we have some sort of uh, ascending motion on the first in the first half of the pattern and we have the descending motion in the second half of the pattern and that's here let's listen to this pack before we save this to get an idea what it sounds like and after we're done editing we can just go to the top right corner and then save the pack and there we have it. That is our edited pattern in our accompaniment pack. So if you wanna go one step further, there is the save to library option where it basically allows you to uh, save this pack and then reuse this in other generation profiles. So this will be added into your library of packs. Uh, let me just demonstrate it right here. So we can press create the pack template. And right here, I'm just gonna name it as Pulsey step to tutorial and just apply the change and yay template was successfully created now just go to the library of template packs you're going to see your custom accompanying pack under 
my packs. So from now on, for every other generation profiles that you created, you can add your own custom pack. All right, and right now that we have the new pack created, let's do a test run where we see how this can be applied to our composition. So just go to the top right corner of your generation profile and click create. And right here we have our composition generated with our EDM2 generation profile along with our newly created accompanying pack. And let's take a look at the course layer where this pack is being applied to. And let's just zoom, let's just zoom in a little bit. All right, and let's give this track a listen and hear our pack in action. You can tell they are the patterns from the accompaniment pack that we created earlier from the ascending motion in the notes followed by the descending motion except the notes being played in these patterns and our music engines will just harmonize these notes while maintaining the same pattern that you put in uh, in your accompaniment designer so that the key characteristic of the pattern the musical characteristics are well maintained So that's it for the tutorial on the accompaniment designer. Hope you like what you see. And if you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a Discord community, the link of which is down below in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.